The Canadian prairie is a harsh place in winter. Whipping sub-zero winds roar down from the Arctic, and nothing in this flat, featureless terrain even slows them down. But it's here, in an oil patch town in Saskatchewan, that AOPA found your 2020 sweepstakes RV10, a diamond in the rough that's undergoing a total transformation that will provide new insights into the performance, technology, and value that can be found in experimental amateur-built aircraft. This RV10 is now registered in the United States as November 260 Mike Golf. It was built from a Vans aircraft kit in 2007, and it hasn't led an easy life. Chip paint on the leading edges is from frequent stops at gravel runways. Two of its former owners learned to fly in this airplane, so it's safe to assume that not every landing has been a greaser. The RV10 lived in a hangar, but it's been exposed to some of the harshest weather in North America. Through it all, however, I can assure you that the airplane flies beautifully. I helped ferry 260 Mike Golf to AOPA's home base in Frederick, Maryland in February, and this ugly duckling's metamorphosis into a swan is well underway. The first step was replacing the VFR-only avionics with a three-screen, quadruple-redundant, digital IFR panel from Advanced Flight Systems, Avidyne, and Aerosport. The pre-wired panel was built, wired, and tested by Advanced Flight Systems in Portland, Oregon, then installed in Maryland. Now it can fly with confidence to aviation events around the country. Next comes the interior. The Spartan barebone seats and foam panels were torn out and replaced with a custom design from SF Sport Aviation in Delray Beach, Florida. The final step will be a new paint job and an original look from scheme designers. By the time the winner of the 2020 AOPA sweepstakes gets this airplane late next year, the transformation will be complete. Not even the original builder of this airplane will recognize it. Dave Hirschman, AOPA Live.